Billy Moe. I've been working at the Strand for five years. I've spent all of that time on the main floor in various sections from the dollar carts outside to film and drama and classics as well as working at the registers and working at the buying desk. I'm originally from Louisiana, a very small-ish town in the southwest corner. Um, and I moved to New York to pursue a career in the arts. I currently live in Brooklyn, where I write and uh, also do some acting on the side. I really like working on the Strand because of the exposure to various types of people. Um, co-workers, uh, just about everybody here has some sort of uh, passion that they do outside of the store. Painting, writing, drawing, dancing, musicians. Um, so it's real nice exposure to the arts um, as well as uh, the customers. You know, you can find yourself uh, unintentionally trapped in conversation or rather really just enjoying conversation with a customer for half an hour um, and through those interactions you also discover um, sort of these out-of-print books that you never knew existed um, through that way I found a wonderful book called The Ultimate Seduction by Charlotte Chandler in which she interviews Fellini and Hitchcock and Picasso all of these great artists about their different processes and it's really uh, it's really great to find those kinds of treasures. There is a column in the general history section that is covered with a map of the world as delineated in 1931 by Rand McNally. And it serves as, to me, serves as a tribute to all of the found objects in books. Uh, working at this store, there's a lot of found objects in used books and there was a time when I first started that many columns were covered with these found objects. Uh, but as we sort of cleaned up the store, those got moved to our tumbler. I would really enjoy having dinner with Susan Sontag. I have been reading her journals for years, and the way that her mind works is simply amazing. She has uh, completely changed the way I look at things. Um, and I would love to get to know more about her. The book that I could read over and over again is Pima Chodron's When Things Fall Apart. It is really, a, uh, it's sort of a Buddhist manual about, you know, looking inside yourself and opening yourself up and becoming comfortable with the things that make you uneasy, and being able to sit in that comfortableness. Um, or uneasiness, rather. Um, it, it's about staying vulnerable and knowing that there's not some magic moment or key that will just make life easy.